Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to part three of the Master Smalls, part 45, Derailed. The Smalls are going to be fighting the train. Do we have someone to suplex it? I knew that was coming. <laughs> you are welcome to try. But I can advise you, it will not be a good idea. So Somewhere somewhere at the train station, while he is still uh <laughs> while he's still being interviewed. Okasan detects a disturbance in the force. <laughs> like there was some place Okasan was supposed to be. Oh well, I'm sure it's not important. <laughs> and a far off ship. Well ta Crandall pauses just before taking another swing at Omnius. He goes, I think I should be somewhere right now, but I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> then shrugs, forgets about it, and goes back to wailing on Omnius in his training. Uh, I, I love how we both have characters who should be suplexing this train, and neither of them are here. And Francine is at the guild, hanging out with her pet frogs, and thinking, I feel there should have been a call for violence right now. Oh, well. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to suplex the train. <laughs> <laughs> ski, ski, suplex train, yes, yes. <laughs> Initiative rolls, everyone? Initiative rolls. <laughs> Initiative rolls. Initiative rolls. Let's see here. Okay. 17. 15. 22. 24. Question before we start. Yes. Am I still raging from when I was uh, in the uh, buffet I'm room, or I'm going will I have to re-rage? I'm going to say yes, but you took the opportunity to smack at every every possible person that who may be hostile, and maybe a few that weren't. All right, still raging. So yeah. The train is just transformed into basically what Velka has declared a, uh, a titan. The cloaked individual is now riding a platform on his back that seems to be shielded by, seems to have shielded in from the titan's armor. And it seems to be given off a purple smoke but between his joints and given a hollow bellow. It's for Cyrano. You know Titans should not be doing that. I take it we are still <clears throat> we are still in motion. Or has the did the train actually stop to do this? The, the train ha the train is coming to a stop, but the the Titan is the Titan has caused the train to stop by basically just slamming his fist down down onto the front of the carriage, caused it to basically all ripped open. You all jump back just in time. And someone out there is playing combo Mortal Kombat music now. <laughs> so, Cyrano, uh, Chip Boss, you have first stop. Okay, well, I am invisible. I'm going to look and see if there's anything I can use for cover, even though I am invisible. Let's say the, that the ruin in front of that carriage does provide a bit of cover. Okay, I'm going to go crouch down behind it. And as soon as I can actually bring up the uh, 
thing. I'm going to basically focus this on the uh, on the guy on the platform, okay. who he's on a platform behind the. The platform is actually built into the Titan. Okay, so it's still it's a part of the Titan. Yeah, and I'm going to cast Shatter. <laughs> so I need both the Titan and him to make a Constitution saving throw against a 17. Just checking something. Uh, it's a sh just a blah, blah, blah. yes, it does. You are declining your spell, but um, what level are you casting it at? Second level. Somehow the the rogue figure has heard your heard your incantation with a flick of the wrist. The shatter spell has been redirected right into the middle of the party. God, I didn't realize I was that close. Okay. But well, let's see. I scattered off. How far? How far apart is the party? That is a good question because I think they say. Let's just say. Uh, let's see how far can Shatter hit? Hits with a ten. It's foot... a ten foot radius. So twenty foot in diameter. Yes. It seemed the party just scattered a fairly decent way. Um, I'm going to roll a d4 to say is it who he's actually targeting with your spell. Okay, roll the one. And unfortunately, that's you. Kind of impressive that he can see where I am. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I I hope I'm not near anybody else with this, at least. The Constitution. Ooh, just barely. Just barely saved that. So I get to take half damage. So that will be seven points of uh, thunder damage to myself. Ow. Shocking. And let's see if I save. Okay, cool. There's no there's no deafness or anything in uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to uh to give Cyrano a you can do it. And that will be my turn. It, it it's funny. That that you should cast Shatter. But because you, you know what you know what else is going to happen? Shatter number two. Sh shatter number two, uh <laughs> spell save constitution save sixteen. William Shatterner. <laughs> okay, first for the Titan. And the Titan rolls with disadvantage because it's made of iron. <laughs> I'm assuming. Because he's a construct. Yep. He is inorganic. Uh, what, what was the bonus again? Uh, well, um, you have to beat a 16. What was the save? Saving roll? Constitution. Con. Yeah. Con, that is... 
Yeah, that's failed. Okay. Just keep in mind that uh, that Bardic Inspiration is at I ten right now. Can I add that to damage rolls or no? Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, so that'll be one, two. That'll be uh, sixteen thunder damage. Okie dokie. Um, this is where I need my calculator. As your spell hits, you can see its armor shudder and rattle. The big rattle and roll. The velvet figure gl glares at you. Just be thankful. You, thankful. Everyone only gets one reaction roll, one reaction per turn. Yes, I'm. I'm very thankful for this. <laughs> yes. So next up, it's. It's Chief Chief. Skeef Skeef, do a violence, yes, yes. He's going to reach into his bucket, pull out what looks to be a pot lid, and say, protect Skeef Skeef. And for my bonus action, I'm going to use Animate Shield. Okay. So it it's now a floating shield. Basically, I just get plus two AC. Also, just just because I noticed, noticed it, and we just said before, okay. So the robot figure right on the platform can only only be reached with a martial attack, with a use of a spear or weapons with reach. Otherwise, it, it cannot be attacked by vain spells and attacks. Can I jump to them? How high can you jump? Very. I have the boots of striding and springing. If you want to give it a go. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to leap at this guy. What what should I roll for that? Just an attack roll? Uh, if you want to jump up towards him, that's a... Jumping it by the end of it. By the jumping rules. No one knows the jumping rules. Oh, no one knows. Jumping, your stroke determines how far you can jump. Uh, how far can I jump? So I'm taking that you're going for a long jump. Yes. So because I think according to this, I can't jump higher than my normal movement would allow. You can jump three times the normal distance, but you can't exceed your movement. Basically, is what it's saying. All right. So I can jump 30 feet, I think. And the Titan is 15 feet to begin with. All right. Here we go, I guess. What am I rolling here? That'll be a dex. 
All right. Twelve plus character sheet. Work with me here. Twenty one. I'm going to say you, you, you. I see you jump a bit too high and sail over the top of the Titan. Well, man's a grab hold on the back of it as you come down. But you do land with a bit of a foot. Ow. Yep. <laughs> Can I attack still? Yes. Can I attack the person or just the Titan? I'm going to say the Titan because you did your movement with the jump. All right. Time to smack a bitch. Rolling to hit. Does a 19 hit. You swing. Swing and that's hit. You hit the titan, which is a bit hard not to, but you just do it at the wrong angle and just... And you just glance off doing new damage. That was you just sculpt, sculpt the the polis. So see, see if you need to try harder. Yes. Next up, was I have a party on this is if again. <laughs> Yuki. All right, I guess uh, for one, I'll. Sends a bardic inspiration to Skeef Skeef. <laughs> Don't you mess up, you dirty rat. <laughs> you is you can eat this. <laughs> and I think she's going to pull out where is it? There it is. Pull out her bandor and cast entangle on this thing to try and slow it down. Okie dokie. Next one. Uh, let's see. A uh, strength check against my spell of save DC, which is 14. I need to look at your character sheet later because that doesn't sound right. But I don't know. I wrote it down. <laughs> let's, just say, Says, let's just say that's right. A moment. That's a moment. The, the vines grow up and try to cling around the titan's legs, but they just don't seem to be able to find purchase. Hmm. All right. I guess that's my turn then. <laughs> Okay, it's time for the Titan to attack. It steps forward, just tearing out the tentacles, up the the vines that's trying to drag it down. It, let's just say, as it, no, it, they just end up being yanked out of the ground as it moves up towards the party. It raises its uh, hammer-like fist, aims towards Cyrano, swings. Does it 21 hit? Barely. Okay, take this eight time. Go for the average hit. That is 19 damage. Bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. And will you make me a strength save DC, please? Strength save? Yep. Okay. Ooh, that is a 10. It knocks you flat to the ground. How's the floor taste, Sai? Not as good as some of the other floors I've had. 
This, this would be so much better if I could get drunk right now. This is the most sober I've ever been while tasting floor. It is not a pleasant experience. <laughs> it normally has an axe hand and a ham hand, but I'm deciding it was the nature of the VC has a pair of ham hands. So it's, just, so it's time for Simon to get hammered again. Well, if you can't get hammered one way, this is a good substitute. I think the 13 does not hit. It does not. It, it somehow oversuits and just comes crashing down on the end of the carriage again, just reducing it more to rubble. Just causing all you know, Velka to back up even further, keeping them out of the fight. As not, they... very, not very smart, Titan, is he? They don't need to be smart, they just need to be effective. They don't need to be smart, they just need to be large. <laughs> Fair enough. I just need to remind myself of something. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, ski ski. The road figure turns and looks at you, raises a hand toward you, and starts uttering insane whis whispers that seems to just hurt your e ears. Give us. Give us no like. Give us a charisma sake, please. I hate you. Anyways. Okay, so that's a one, but not a nine. Actually, nat give us something else because uh, counterspell. Okay. He tried. He Thank tried you. Us through the whispers. She sees his burn for a moment to the sound of the language, but uh, the spell was temp tempers out. Sounds Thank like you, the... Sarat. You want my spell back at me, will you? Skeef, you've no like Shadow Man. I have reactionary spells too. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. I would have been absolutely screwed. I rolled a two when I have a minus one to charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Instead. The figure starts whispering, whispering a different set of curses again. The same awful language that just hurts your ears. See, see, you swear you can see the burn marks around his mouth getting worse. Skeef, uh, skeef, re recommends burn heal. Can you give me a a con saving throw, please? That I can do. That would be a... Con, 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 where are you? Twenty-three. Yep, you passed. Yay! <laughs> and... We're back to Chifos. Okay, I've got to pull up this thing again. I'm going to. I'm just going to copy and paste this whole thing here. Oh no, uh, that's not a good sign for Raven, at least. Oh it, fuck! <laughs> 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 It doesn't want to paste that stat block in there. Whoa. Rolls that. downstairs, rolls over in pairs, runs over the neighbor's dog. <laughs> <laughs> you are rolling for this thing yourself. I know. 
But I'm also huh. putting it that just so you have something to uh, reference here. Okay. Huh. Because it, it basically takes its turn immediately after me. So, uh, what I, exactly are you animating? I am casting iron on a bit on the uh, <laughs> largest chunk of metal I can pick up, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a big chunk of iron just kind of floating there. <laughs> that's my turn. That's my action to do that. You know, and as my bonus action, it's going to float over there and get it, get uh, to this thing's back or directly across from a sheep sheep here. Okay. So now we can consider this thing flanked. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> and once I have this... hack tactics. <laughs> Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Does this chunk of metal count for pack tactics? If it's giving flanking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to read here and make sure I've got the... My spell attack modifier to hit, which is a plus nine... <laughs> So that would be a 22 to hit to a hit. What are you aiming for? Aiming for the uh, aiming for wizard man up there. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> that one was the damage. This isn't the biggest amount of damage in the world, but. That would be seven force damage. <laughs> and because I can, I get to also use my bonus action to give another dose of bardic inspiration to Yuki. Well. <laughs> and that's my turn. Cyrano, stop eating dirt so you can do something. Get back up. You, you know what I feel like we need more of? What's that? I feel like we need more shatter. <laughs> we need that shatter as much as we need cowbell. You may not want to aim for the wizard. You may just want to try to make sure you only hit the... Uh, I, I'm aiming the for the titan. Because if you do that, you're going to hit everything up there, which includes our barbarian. Yes. Hello. <laughs> what uh, level are you using Shatter at? Uh, second. It's at this point the rogue figure hearing, hearing you chattering just gives a gesture and eats your own Shatter. Now just out of cue, I need to look up something here. Since he is surrounded. Is just a note for any audience and for my players. I am utilizing a different stat block given to this character, this NPC that uses Void of Magic. You don't look at these spells. You do now. You now know what they are. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing. I'm just, I was just checking because sometimes there was. I, I thought there was a rule for if you used a if you used a spell while you were surrounded in melee, you you provoked opportunity attacks. But I'm not seeing it. I know that was a thing in older editions. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Yeah, because I remember that coming up a lot whenever I played 3-5. Which is why I never played... One of the many reasons I never played Spellcaster. Huh. Okay, so I 
passed my saving throw against myself. So I will be taking... I take five damage. And your hair stands on end. Luckily, I am a brick shit house of HP. How much uh, HP does does I have? Over a hundred. Skeef Steve has exactly a hundred HP. Let me check one more thing. That'll be my turn. You, you end your turn. I was saying, do your turn, DJ. Mm -hmm, yep. Oh, okay, okay. Skeef, skeef. Yes, yes. Skeef, skeef. Yes, yes. Get on with it, you dirty rat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to climb up to the f fucking wizard. And I'm going to use my bonus action to do that ray of light thing again. Okay. Because I can do that. Please roll a constitution saving throw. That's right now. Con. Well, that's a fire. Yeah. All right. That's uh, rolling damage. That is three radiant damage, and you are blinded until my next turn. Dude. Now for my attack. Because <laughs> that's just a bonus action. Pack tactics. I get advantage on this roll to hit. Well, you get all the bloody, ava bloody advantage on it. It's surrounded anyway, so, you know. Yeah, it, it and he's blind. It's surrounded, he's <laughs> <is> blind. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? A 17 hits. All right. Rolling damage. How much extra damage does Rage do again? Can never remember. Do I do I double the attack bonus or do I double the die? Okay, at eleven you do plus three damage. All right, so that's twelve damage. I also have extra attack, so I can attack again. I think. Yes, you can. Yep. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that's a crit. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that's... Do your damage, guys. Yay. <laughs> you don't double the bonuses, just the dice. Uh, it's either, depending on what you want to do. Mm. Uh, let's go for you. That's a uh, fourteen damage. 
as I just beat the shit out of the shadow guy. Hmm. Yeah. I just gotta do something, you know, and just put a roll the jizzy roll for him. He he said it himself. This why you bet he cut him cut it into ribbons and he stops himself from falling out of the platform. <laughs> Doesn't say if he's gonna leap away, he has ten less feet of movement to do it with too. Yeah. Mm. And he'd be jumping blind. Yeah. Yuki. Oh yes. oh this skeezy gotta do anything else. I use my movement, bonus action, and two attacks. I'm tapped out. Okay, time for Yuki. Okay. In that case, uh, let me think. I'm going to use Dimension Door to get up to where Shadow Man and Skeef Skeef is. Oh, come on! <laughs> 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 Not again! <laughs> the best answer is usually the simplest one. I'm considering the one, but I'm going to be nice. <laughs> and I'm just going to uh, have Yuki just bite him on the neck. No, I'm not. <laughs> that was a you six. You have advantage on this in oh. multiple ways. Yes. Oh, right. I do have, I do have the you D10. Have an I can't, well, you have advantage, which means you get to roll 2d20 and take the better one. Oh, okay. And then you have the D10 you can add on to it. Okay. Oops. I sure uh, that, do love breaking combat. That would combat be a 25. <laughs> I sure do love breaking combat encounters. Was, oh, what was that? It was a 25. D damage. All right, damage. Yeah, Let's uh, see. Let's see. He's a scooty mate. Yeah. <laughs> Did you use the Bardic Inspiration? Yes. Okay, hang on. There is an extra thing this unlocks. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. oh, yes. Is this the one that explodes? <laughs> no, not quite. I need to go find the damn thing. Um, immediately Everything. after you roll the Bardic Inspiration, I'd add it to an attack roll. A... Whenever you use it, a moat happens. Uh-huh. Oh, this is where it explodes. Yes. Yay! Everything explodes now. The target and each creature of your choice yes. that you can see within five feet of it must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take thunder damage equal to the number rolled on the die. So well, whatever you rolled on that D10... Okay, okay. To... that was a five. <laughs> okay, so it has to make another constitution saving throw. <laughs> I rolled a five. That's <laughs> nowhere near enough to beat 17, so it takes five extra damage. <laughs> so I guess now I roll my damage for the bite. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no, no. That would be eight. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're not looking good. Yes. <laughs> Yuki tastes blood again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fine. What? That's fine. You do not like what you taste. <laughs> the blood's tainted. Why do I feel like Yuki's tasted more blood than Sai has? <laughs> the blood feels cold and empty. <laughs> Skeef Skeef no recommend eat person. Now this person. Okay. <laughs> Frog, we've all agreed that wizards are not a people. <laughs> <laughs> and just for that remark, the tags are going to smack you again. <laughs> I'll go on to your writer. A 15 doesn't hit, does it? Fifteen does not hit. Second attack. Twenty-six. That does yeah. hit. 
That is another 90 damage. Another another stuff. DC save, please. That is a 14. Tasteful of motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> it tastes like oil. <laughs> You're sure making an impression on the floor. Is that the point? The mage? Who is he, blind? He's blind, he's bleeding. <laughs> he's flanked on all sides. <laughs> he, he's clutching his wounds and he starts to mutter something different from before. It's the same horrible language that fucks with your ears. Everyone else is out everyone else is out of the range, but Yuki and Skeef Thief are going to mm -hmm. take this. And uh, give us a wisdom DC save, please. Okay. Sixteen. Ooh, you pass. DC. That is a... Fifteen. Remind me, doesn't raging mean, mean you're not affected by frightened... Yes. Fuck. I can't be frightened or charmed, I believe. Um, the thick skull just gets so much thicker at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, buh, 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 buh. As a close up, since he's still just dead. So, uh, he's done. Back to Tifos. Okay, let's go ahead and get the bonus action out of the way here first. That would be a 21 to hit him. That's a hit. For 10 force damage. Okay. And then because I saw it get used, the bonus action will also be used to give a Yuki another dose of Bardic Inspiration. Okay. I mark that one off my sheet here. I think this is the most Bardic Inspiration I've used in a very long time. <laughs> And because I know what happens when I actually try to cast spells at this guy, I, I think that's going to end Shifros's turn. Oh, that's fine, because he basically drops, on, drops for the platform and hits the ground with a splat. That's, that's a good 15 foot of extra damage. This <laughs> is... <laughs> Insert Wilhelm scream here. <laughs> No, it's at this point the Titan reacts to the death of the Void Speaker. It the eyes become late and flaming as the smoke just just pours out of it. And some of the armor just begins to fall to the ground with a heavy thud, thud, thud. And you can see starting to cross out the main the main body of it. Black oily tendrils coiling around the limb the limbs, the torso, around the neck. Oh no, it's just a neck even. Even to the point the head, even though we shouldn't have a mouth, opens up to reveal a purple blazing fire within. That is basically torn open a mouth that shouldn't exist. Now coiled in this 
black goo, a mixture of organic and technological. And for those somebody writing it, it don't smell too good either. Uh, I have a very important question for Yuki. Mm-hmm. Do you still have that dynamite? I don't think I do. Darn. <laughs> I was gonna see if you could throw it in there. <laughs> I think right now the ones that have the most dynamite are Cyrano and Shifros. Shifros you gave all his dynamite away. Okay, so it Cyrano maybe. <laughs> so Cyrano probably has any dynamite. <laughs> I feel... I'm not sure if I do or not. Uh, okay, maybe we all used it up. <laughs> I mean, if Omnis was here, he still has four sticks left. Mm -hmm. If I'm remembering correctly. I mean, I still have the one terrible idea, but I'm tempted not to do it for Raven's sake. <laughs> See, but terrible has idea. <clears throat> I still have the bag of beans. <laughs> Shifros has a bunch of bananas, but, you know. Notes. I that is what a titan looks like, so your chances of throwing dynamite into his mouth is not good. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough. Okay. So so it's my turn to fight this thing, is it? Yes. Yep. All righty. And we no longer have Mr. Bounce Spells back in your face up there to deal with. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am going to do um, Booming Blade, which... Oh no, it's going to yell at me about the government. <laughs> Not Boomer Blade. Mm. I... No, I am not going to use my inspiration on that. <laughs> I, I can tell you, unless unless at 12 hits, that's a miss. <laughs> that's a miss. Okay. Well, I can use my bonus action to make a weapon attack anyway. That's a natural 20. Well, let's go. Oh. Okay, so double the damage dice. So that is 27 damage. One minute. Okay, it's down to that much damage. Get a health. And next. Somebody his turn. It's my turn. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna try and blind this thing, because I... I, mm, I can at least try to blind it. I don't really think I have anything else to do with my bonus action. Let's see. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna smack it. Smack away, good sir. Smack away. Da, 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 da. Oh. I just realized I have Brutal Critical as well, but that doesn't matter anymore. Anyways. Uh, rolling to hit on the first attack. That's a miss. What's your roll? An eight. Oh, that's definitely a miss. Does a 23 hit? That hits. All right. Second attack. Rolling damage. 
nine damage. You know, for a barbarian, I really don't do that much damage. You're so vulnerable at the moment. So, it's on to Yuki. Mm. Mind you, you were thinking about trying to plant the bean into the titan, it won't work. It yeah. It needs fertile, well, fertile substance for it to grow in. Yeah. Maybe you break down a loose with it at the moment. Yeah. Do we have a jar of dirt? <laughs> no. I know of. <laughs> no, we have a ski ski. <laughs> Keith Keith has a jar of dirt? Yes, yes. <laughs> he doesn't, but it would be very funny if he did. Mm. Dumb idea, but this thing was very attached to its wizard, right? It, there does seem to be some correlation between it. It's Yuki uses disguise self to look like the wizard. <laughs> The distern, the distant lantern laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know I look like the wizard. <laughs> How does the, the the creature react? <laughs> it doesn't. Damn it! Skeeps <laughs> Skeeps is gonna see another shadow wizard and be like, Skeeps Skeeps kill kill Skeeps Skeeps kill kill. <laughs> In that case, I guess I'll just have Yuki pull out her rapier and try to stab the damn thing. Stabby, stabby. Let's see. That's a unnatural 20. That's a hit. <laughs> All right. 18. How am I doing the least damage? Am I doing my damage calculation wrong or something? You plunge down through, through, the, through the joints, through the openings, catching the, the oozing goo as it splatters up at you as you do your damage. Gonna need a bath after this. <laughs> and now it is time for the Titan. It at this point it's got to use its movements to try and shake the pair of you off. Well, <laughs> give us uh, so deck save. <laughs> I'm going to go for a, a strength save to be able to st stay clean on. Okay. All right, that's. Uh... And uh, I've got a roll strength save. You know what? You should be beating. Okay. Okay. Roll. 23. Okay, okay. 17. Skeef, skeef, you just managed to cling on. Yuki, I'm sorry. Whee! <laughs> Where am I landing? <laughs> In, inside his arms, obviously. Yes. You know, I found a chart that denotes how much damage you take when you fall. Here we go. Uh, let's say you're falling 15, so why don't we 1d20, please? Okay. 18. Ooh, that's 18 damage. Okay. Mind you, at this level... It's not terrible damage, but still an ounce. Uh, yeah. Let's <laughs> just say for the moment, you, you've got the breath knocked out of you. 
Yeah. <laughs> they would as get so, the number number of that donkey cart. As someone who's had the wind knocked out of him before, do not recommend unpleasant. Yeah, that that's not a fun feeling, no. Mm. The Titan. How much have you got left? Yuki? What? How much have you got left? 72. The the Titan turns to glare down at you. Uh, as you can see, his mouth opening even further. The, the cold furnace in between just glowing ever brighter, purpley white. Give an impression of cold. Make me a dexterity shape, please. And okay. Don't forget you have the D10 with you. Okay. If you haven't used it yet. Oh, I already did, so never mind. <laughs> okay. I mean, Get the second here. one I gave you. Yeah, the second one I used. Okay. Ah, what did you fell. use it on, by the way? Uh, To uh, use my rapier. Not for damage, just to roll it. Yeah, with an attack roll. Yeah. Uh, basically, that means it needed a con save or take whatever. Okay, I'll just say it. that roll was. Okay. I'll just... well, let's see. Ah, fuck. That's an... That's an... Uh, you said what type of save? It save, needed but... the uh, construct needed a constitution save. Oh. Uh, Against a 17. And you... Right. I am very confused right now. <laughs> no, no, because when you attacked with the uh, thing, it made yeah. that little note explode. It right. Ba basically, the inspiration gave bonus damage, potentially, and we just didn't yeah. factor it in. Oh, okay. So we're going back to take care of that. Okay. It, it, uh, it, it passed a save. Okay. Yeah. Then it didn't take any damage. Okay. It, it's fine. Everything's fine here. Yeah. So what am I rolling for now? Uh, dexterity save, please. Okay. Yuki does a cool backflip. 19. Okay. As uh, Yanzi just said, Yuki has managed to sum himself just out of the way, just in time. <sighs> Meaning you only take half damage of what comes. Okay. You take 10 fire damage and 10 radiant damage. Uh, 20. Yep. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> and funny enough, in the furnace within the, this now corrupted. Well, especially it was caught to begin with. Titan, the furnace within is now dying down. Does anyone have any water? And, uh, it's back to cry. Or should it, it be? Sh it should be Shifros. It should be Shifros. Oh, it should be Shifros. Since you said that, hang on. Where's Snorri when you need him? Passed out. <laughs> in the basement. Somewhere far away, Snorri wakes up briefly. Look at it! And goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> there is nowhere that Snorri needs to be right now. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere needs Snorri there. I have a really dumb idea for my next turn. I've got two choices here I could go with now. I think I'll go with the I think I'll go with the more standard one first. And uh cast fairy fire on the construct. The Titan is now glowing. It has to fa it has to fail a deck save against a seventeen. It's a 15 foot tall Titan. Okay. So it, it's now glowing green. 
where it mixes really well with the purple smoke he's giving off. Hmm? And now anyone that attacks it has advantage on every attack. So that would be a 27 for my uh, chunk of iron to smack the thing. Uh, no, see, no. Not that it, it, it's suffering from reduced damage when it discarded the armor and the corruption took over. So, yeah, that hits mightily. For 13 force damage. Okay, okay. And then we'll go ahead and give Yuki another dose of bardic inspiration. Okay. <laughs> and also, that is my turn. Also, noting if you can't kill it this turn, I'm. It is going to get an inst instant kill somehow because we're running out of time. Hey. Booming blade time. I'm using that bardic inspiration because why not? Okay, so that is a 22 to hit. That hits. Okay, and it also needs to save that con save in order to... Uh, Con save is 17. Yep. That's a 20. And okay, saved. so it doesn't take the extra damage. Got it. So let's see here. I need to roll 2d8. Eight plus... Nine, sixteen, seventeen damage. Okay. And attack two. Twenty five hits. Another 21 damage. We have a groan and a shunt. The light, the light just got out of the, the titan's eyes. I just snuffed out as the black goo just liquefies from, from the, the metal carcass and it just drops to the floor with a metal and heavy clunk. As it's going down, Skeef Skeef would like to suplex the train. This. <laughs> well, the train carriage is over there. Half of it's gone. The, the, the Titan only formed the engine, which as it isn't a train. Yes, they're going to be finicky about this. Skeef Skeef would like to suplex the engine of the train. Explain to me how you like to suplex this thing, which was 15 foot tall, weighs several thousand, several tons, compared to you, you minuscule rat folk. The magic of pure stupidity. Okay, give us a strength roll. And I have advantage on this. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Well, <laughs> you pull, you pull, you pull. Your back goes out. Back. You tried for Sabin. You landed on Captain Furious. <laughs> well. Skeef Skeef will live another day. Ow. This is where I could be cool where I just say, oh, one of the arms is still still leaning up. Suddenly this falls down and splats Skeef Skeef. But no. Skeef 
I mean, you did say it would be punished appropriately. Well, well he's thrown, it was worth a try. He's thrown out his back. That's punishment enough. <laughs> Skiff Skiff needs chiropractic adjustment. Yes, yes. This. It's at this point the familiar faces of Percy, the boss, Dane, of a sub other surviving members of the passengers and crew arriving with with uh, Caleb, the dra the dragon Velka out of the ruins, the train carriage. There's some much conversation going on, and Velka's spending not a mo moment just yelling, yelling at Caleb, Caleb demands to know what the thing they're doing, building more titans. And this is where a airship arrives, the propellers whirling heavily through the air, pushing the grand boat as it rise to uh, investigate and uh, pick everyone up. And uh, would folks be fine with me ending it here because of time limits? Yes, because I have to get ready for work. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I shall wrap this up. At the beginning of the next section, so uh, until next time, be good, be well, and don't trust trains. They may turn into giant robots. Apparently. <laughs> Later. Later. Bye. Bye, Ann. Skeep, skeep says see ya.